in hardback. However, you can get it online. And if you get in touch with me or anybody in F2C or Forces or the Smokers Club, we can give you the link. And it's a free download. He's giving it away for free now. It's got a lot of good information in it. The second book is a new book by a man named Theodore King in the United States called The War on Smokers and the Rise of the Nanny State. It's a relatively short book compared to the others. It's only about, I think, 200 pages. But Mr. King has done a wonderful job of pulling together a lot of the basic arguments and history around the anti-smoking movement and around the uh, fight against it and put it all into one place. It's a very good book for somebody who really wouldn't get through a much longer book, but they'd like to find out why you're doing this fight, what it's all about, what's the upset. The next book is mine, Dissecting Anti-Smokers' Brains. I look at the psychology of who the anti-smokers are, why they're doing what they're doing, the, the different tricks that they use, the ways that they lie with language and with fallacies and with statistics. Uh, it's kind of a combination of all those things in, into one book. The next book, by our estimable host here, Christopher Snowden's Velvet Glove, Iron Fist. It's a better book than my book. <laughs> it is a wonderful book. Uh, it's, again, about 400 pages, and it's full of just fascinating reading about the, the history of anti-smoking. And Chris also does a, a ver an excellent job of giving an even-handed look at a lot of the questions that have come up in the anti-smoking claims. He generally comes down on our side. That's because we're right. <laughs> Very good book, highly recommended. The final book is called Smoke, Str Smoke Screens, and it, it is by Rich White from England. It's a very good book, but it takes a different view than most of the others. The other four books are mainly arguing about secondhand smoke and smoking bans. Rich is arguing that even smoking itself isn't as bad for you as they say it is. He looks at some of the early studies and some of the early controversies about the, the cancer, lung cancer and smoking studies, and he finds some interesting stuff to, that would make you think. Uh, if you have interest in that aspect of things, about smoking's effect on your own health, it's a very good book to read. Finally, websites. There are a lot of good websites. If you go to forces.org, F2C, or the Smokers Club, Go to their links area, and you can find all the information you ever want. I specifically borrowed the early swatch to keep track of time, and I've now forgotten what time I started. How long have I been going? <laughs> have I only been a half hour? Okay, I'll wrap it up very quickly then. Uh, not, 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 quite, not quite, not that quickly, not that quickly. Give me a minute, give me a minute, there we go, there we go. Truth and, oh, well, I've got more pictures there too, I can do it there. There we go, you can put up wall posters in your bar, uh, go on the internet and post stuff. There's a lot of people out there who read internet posting. Write letters to editors, politicians, to journalists, to people who write the articles. A lot of them are trying to write good articles to reveal facts. They need your help. If they're saying it wrong, if they're just regurgitating a press release, let them know. And I think that is just about one, oh, one more thing, the outreach. You need to keep reaching out to new bars and new cafes and to the pool halls and bowling alleys. Get more people involved because we really don't have enough people involved to, as an active movement and we need more. Think about funding, the alcohol companies, the gambling, the casinos, maybe even the tobacco companies. But if you go to the tobacco companies in particular, make sure you do everything completely in the open. Okay, that's it, thank you. Thank you very much, Michael, fantastic stuff. Okay, well, we'll break for coffee. Come back in 15 minutes, so um, 10 to 4.
Come back, go get yourself a coffee, have a cigarette, whatever you want to do. Sounds great. And we'll back, maybe talk a bit more about what, what can be done in the future in 15 minutes. Hold on, I can just start.